Hey guys, username Thaskid here, and today I am going to show you guys how to get a lot of money in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So, uh, one of the first things that you're going to need is a Rotom, if my thing actually work, uh, a Rotom prize money um, boost. Basically, it's a Rotom power you can get from the Rotom lottery thing. But you're going to need a few of these. Uh, and also, you're going to need... Um, let me get to my Pokemon. You're going to need a uh, amulet coin. So, you're going to need an amulet coin. You're going to need um, a Rotom power-up. Uh, for the prize money and I also have um, the move happy hour now happy hour you can get happy hour you can get from the uh, event um, rock rough so if you have rock rough if you want to get some more money in the game then use happy hour for it uh, you can use the move happy hour only once for uh, per battle. So the person that um, you battle will give you more money, pretty much. So that's basically how I do it in the game. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Elite Four. And I'm going to uh, battle one of the Elite Four members. Okay, as you can see, I am going up to uh, this guy. He's part of Elite Four. I'm going to battle this guy. It doesn't really matter who you battle. You're still going to get the same amount of money, I believe, uh, if you battle uh, any of the Elite Four trainers. So I'm going to defeat this guy, and we're going to see how much money you normally get from him. Okay, so I defeated him. Let's see how much money I get from him normally. I only get... 13,200 which is eh, it's okay it's not bad I guess but um, now we're going to try and battle him by using all of these uh, money tactics or not tactics money uh, boost boosters okay so we're gonna battle him again and this time we're going to use all of the money power-ups so First money power up you're gonna want to use. Sorry about it. Sorry about that. I think I'm hearing a helicopter. Uh, yep, that's definitely a hel helicopter. Anyway, so first one you're gonna want to use is the Rotom Prize money. So I use the Rotom Prize money. There he goes. Get the Rotom Prize money, and my thing will actually focus. See it. And also, I have the uh, amulet coin on my liking rock. So, we're going to bow this guy. And by the way, the money liking rock, I mean, the money, <laughs> like, money Rotom uh, thing only lasts for... I'm not really sure how much how long it lasts for, but it has a time limit. So, uh, if you can actually do these battles pretty fast, then you can probably be able to use it for a good amount of time. So, anyways, also the last thing you're going to want to do, last thing you're going to want to do, is use Happy Hour, and when you do that. That should give you, that right there should have given you the maximum amount of money you could get from uh, this uh, trainer, pretty much. Anyways, let's see how much money we get from them now that we did the Omelet Coin, uh, the Rotom Money Power Up, and the Happy Hour. So, let's see. Okay, so I defeated him while I had also used... Uh, the omelet coin, the um, 
Rotom prize money power up and happy hour. So last time without any of those, we got 13,000. Let's see how much we get just with all those power ups, all the money power ups combined. That's a lot of money right there. So yeah, as you can tell, that is one hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars and four hundred two but <laughs> but yeah that's a lot of money so that is probably one of the best ways to get money on this game um to use all three of those money power-ups uh the rotom one is it, it it takes a bit of time and luck to get but hopefully this helped you guys out uh you can use this on any trainer um well except for the ones that are at the battle tree but yeah anyways hope this helps out this username that's kid signing out and i'll see you all next time bye